Remember 2020? The majority of people do, and for some, it will continue to be a while and that takes a while to heal. The onset of the coronavirus pandemic and its effects continue to affect almost everyone on the planet, causing unprecedented global disruption to society. Spoilers coming up on today's recapped horror, mystery, and thriller film titled, Sick. Set on April 3, 2020, while shopping for pandemic supplies, Tyler Murphy receives a text message from an unknown stalker asking him if he got tested. He becomes uneasy and leaves the store. In his car, he receives a phone call from an unknown caller on the other end who does not respond. Tyler tells him to stop with the stalker bullshit and drives off. Inside his apartment, he notices the front door open despite having closed it, suddenly the TV is turned on, he walks towards the living room and switches it off. Disguised with a mask and a black hoodie, the stalker attacks him, he manages to run and locks himself inside a room. He then comes out of the room with a bat searching for the stalker who slashes his throat. As the pandemic steadily brings the world to a halt, Parker Mason brings her best friend Mary Woodlow with her to quarantine in a remote family cabin. On arrival, they start unpacking their supplies. Like Tyler, Parker also begins receiving disturbing texts from an unknown stalker. She tells Mary about it who agrees that probably is her ex-boyfriend who is messing around while Packer blocks the stalker. That night, as the girls were having a good time, Parker's ex-boyfriend, DJ Cole, unexpectedly shows up at the cabin despite not being invited, hoping to reconcile with her. He enters the cabin via the back door. After hanging out with the two young women for a little while, DJ confronts Parker over an Instagram post that shows her kissing a guy named Benji at a college party. Although Benji was only a brief encounter, she still dashes DJ's hopes of getting back together. After the confrontation, DJ goes to his car to pick up his backpack leaving the cabin's front door open. The stalker gets the opportunity and sneaks into the cabin. He begins terrorizing the trio by stealing their cell phones while they were asleep. DJ wakes up and notices that his phone is missing. As he was searching for it, the stalker starts playing loud music which woke Packer who realizes her phone is missing. DJ grabs Packer and tells her that they are not alone in the house. He gives her his car keys and tells her to get to the car as he goes to get Mary. Now in Mary's room, the stalker tries to attack her in her bed unaware of what is going on. DJ fights him off so that she can escape outside. Following a violent fight, the stalker kills DJ by spearing him through his chest. On seeing this, the girls attempt to leave in their car, but they get stuck due to blown out tires. The stalker runs towards them and picks a brick, throwing it and breaking the window. They get out of the car and start racing back to the cabin with the stalker in pursuit. They get into the house and rush upstairs to the attic and flee through a window after the stalker breaks in. He grabs Mary's hair causing her to stumble and falls to the ground. Meanwhile, Packer enters the house and runs towards the front door. On opening it, she sees the stalker running towards her. A fight breaks out in the kitchen between them as Packer appears to beat the stalker to death. Afterward, she is shocked to see a second stalker entering the cabin. She flees outside to check on Mary who tells her that she can't move because her leg is broken. She urges her to play dead since there is another stalker in the house. The second stalker chases Parker to a boat launch. She uses a raft as the stalker watches her drifting away. The stalker soon catches up with her and grabs the oars, terrified, she jumps into the lake and swims to get away from the man. Parker makes it to her nearest neighbor Mr. Lyons' house and enters through the window. Inside, she is met by Mr. Lyon pointing a gun at her commanding her to leave. After explaining herself, the stalker suddenly kills Mr. Lyons before resuming his pursuit of her. Meanwhile, Mary crawls back to the cabin and tries to make a splint for her broken leg. Revealed to still be alive, the first stalker suddenly attacks her. She definitively kills the stalker by stabbing him in the throat. The second stalker catches up to Parker on a remote road. She manages to fight him off and flags down a passing vehicle. The driver, Pamela, insists that she should put on a protective mask before entering her car because of the pandemic. Parker does as she asks and Pam lets her in, soon after, she falls unconscious due to the chloroform on the mask. 
Pamela and the stalker then bring Parker back to the cabin. Mary sees them arrive and hides under the kitchen counter. The stalker unmasks himself as Pamela's husband Jason. The couple reveals that the dead stalker was their oldest son Tim. Taunting Parker with the Instagram video, Pamela then explains that their other son, Benji, died from COVID-19, and they blame her for kissing Benji and transmitting the virus to him. Meanwhile, Mary sneakily gets a laptop and tries to contact the police. Pamela adds that they also killed Tyler because he transmitted the virus to her, and they now want revenge against her as well as her friends who willingly broke quarantine. Jason notices that someone is using the Wi-Fi and quickly unplugs it. Pam tells him to go outside and double-check if Mary is still there. As soon as he leaves the house, Mary knocks Pamela with a wine bottle causing her to stumble as Parker pushes her to the ground through the window. Jason later dashes inside the house and begins calling out to Pamela after noticing Parker is missing. He goes upstairs to look for her as Mary cuts his leg. Parker comes to him running while spraying his face then knocks him over an upstairs railing and falls on deer antlers that impale his body. The two girls leave and enter a nearby shade as Pamela pursues them with an axe. Parker defends herself with a gas can, spilling fuel all over Pamela's body. Mary eventually sets Pamela on fire. She begins running down the road screaming and later collapsing to her death. The two friends walk to Pamela's dead body as police cars pull up to the scene. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.